Hey guys, what's going on? James here. I'm currently on my way to work, but I did want to talk about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are re-signing defensive lineman Pat O'Connor to a contract. He is coming back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And this is a move that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers needed to do, right? They continue to add to their interior defensive line. Yes, they brought back Will Golston. Yes, they are trying to re-sign and Dom can sue. But bringing back Pat O'Connor, it's a move that gives you depth at the defensive line, gives you a good amount of special teams play as well. Pat O'Connor, one of the better special teams players that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have on their roster right now and overall this is just a solid depth move right uh you know pat o'connor he's going to be continuing to compete with young guys with draft picks for you know roster spots along the defensive line along special teams units however you want to phrase it uh this is going to be a good move for continuity for the buck special teams unit for continuity with the buccaneers interior defensive line depth and and overall i, I think it is just a solid you know decent move by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to make to continue to bolster their depth. I know this is a move that a lot of Bucks fans or, you know, a, a type of move that a lot of Bucks fans have been, you know, clamoring for, you know, hey, why aren't they adding more defensive linemen? They need to build up their depth along the defensive line. What the heck are they doing? You know, hey, they're working on things. They brought back Will Golston. They're going to try and bring back Indomitian Sue. Now they have brought back Pat O'Connor. So, you know, they're, they're working on bringing back as many guys as they can. They're working on bolstering that depth along that defensive line as much as they possibly can. Wouldn't be surprised if they add a draft pick or two into that defensive line unit as well. They're going to continue to make some moves. They're going to continue to bolster their depth. A, another move has been made here with Pat O'Connor coming back to the team. Also, special teams unit cannot be, you know, overlooked as well. Pat O'Connor is still a fantastic player on the special teams unit. He, you know, could be a captain you know, on the special teams unit um, at some point in time, but there weren't other guys there like Kevin Minter and, you know, Grant Stewart might eventually be a special teams captain for this team among some other, you know, standouts. Pat O'Connor, I think you throw right into that mix of just standouts on the special teams units who is able to do a lot of good stuff for this team, both on defense and on special teams as well. And it's just quality depth. So uh, overall, I think that this is a decent signing by the Bucks. They're continuing to bolster their depth, uh, both on special teams and on the defense defensive line and uh yeah we'll see how pat o'connor does in camp we'll see how he does in the offseason program and uh it's a cool thing that he's back with the team what do you guys think about the re-signing of pat o'connor i would love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions on this thank you guys so much for watching this video hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream but until then and as always guys goodbye for now and go bucks